And I want to tell you that for me, it's a great honor uh, to be here today as part of this ceremony, especially here at Scott Air Force Base with an incredible past uh, where it began in 1917 uh, during the First World War. It was here at Scott that it's one of the primary training fields for what was then known as the Army Air Service and then became the Army Air Corps, eventually became the United States Air Force, the most powerful, most capable Air Force in the history of the world. And I just want to say it's a deep honor to be here at this air base. Looking out, I see a lot of friendly faces, people who've worked incredibly hard and shaped not just today's ceremony, uh, but TRANSCOM and the incredible mission uh, that TRANSCOM has every day. And I want to thank all of you again for being here, but most of all, the families, the families of our soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, Coast Guardsmen, Space Guardians, who all serve alongside those of us in uniform. And I want to thank all of you for being here today. And you are represented most importantly by the Lyons and Van Ovos families. I want to thank Maureen for 32 consecutive years of being by Steve's side. And I know without a shadow of a doubt, and he knows uh, that he would not be standing here today without you. So on behalf of all the families of Transcom and really all the families of the entire Joint Force, thank you very much. You know, our military spouses don't get paid for any of the work that they do behind the scenes or keeping everything going while we're away. And I know the men and women at Transcom are no strangers to this. So for Maureen, your service and sacrifice over the years, and to your children, Dylan and Kara, both literally born into the Army, I know your parents could not be prouder of you than they are today. Both of you have developed into exceptional adults. Kara, as many of you know, is a teacher, a special education teacher. And Dylan uh, has enrolled, as you can see by his uniform, he is now in his second year at the United States Military Academy. Uh, and he will be graduating, hopefully, fingers crossed, in a couple more years to don the cloth of our nation as a second lieutenant of the United States Army Infantry is the branch you will choose. I know the top guy up there, so we'll, we'll help you out. Logistics is important, but infantry is where it's at. Remember that. And I do want to introduce what was last night Kara's special friend, what was this morning's Kara's boyfriend, and as of an hour ago is now Kara's fiance. Aaron Hale. Aaron, could you stand up, please, so that everyone can see you as the newly engaged Aaron Hale. I warned you. I told you we would do that. You're welcome, Mom. And to Jackie Van Ovost and your family, her great husband, Alan, down here, and Tracy, her four daughters, Tracy, Kristen, Rebecca, and Megan, thank you, and, and her wonderful parents, Hans and Joy. Uh, thank you all for being here. As, uh, you embark on the next incredible chapter in her life. Uh, great people are not just born, they are built and shaped, and they are shaped by our families, and, and I know that you have each shaped Jackie into the woman and the leader that she is today. And I really want to thank everyone out here who is wearing the uniform and those that you represent. In this critical command, a command <clears throat> that has been operating for years and years, decades even, under the most challenging of circumstances. Each of our 11 joint combatant commands plays an indispensable role in the national security of the United States. But it is TRANSCOM, it is TRANSCOM that is the workhorse, undeterred by anything and always ready to deliver. And we see that day in and day out, month in, month out, year in, year out. In just over two weeks, Transcom recently coordinated and executed a non-combatant evacuation mission that gave over 
124,000 people an opportunity to live in freedom. This was the largest airlift by two times in all of history. Thousands of people all over the globe contributed, but it was Transcom who made it possible from the rapid delivery of our troops to the evacuation of all of those Afghans. For 34 years, Transcom has enabled the world's most responsive and strategic mobility capabilities on the ground, across the sea, and in the air. Today, Transcom's subordinate commands, the Army's Military Surface Deployment and Distribution Command, the Navy's Military Sea Lift Command, and the Air Force's Air Mobility Command, form an incredible team of unbelievable talent. And each of you are marching in the boots, you're manning the bridge, you're flying in the cockpit of those that came before you. In the summer of 1944, the U.S. Third Army under General Patton moved rapidly across the European mainland following a successful invasion at Normandy. The rate of advance was more than 80 miles per week, and that rate of advance caused significant supply problems for the Allies. In response, a convoy system, a ground convoy system consisting of 6,800 trucks was established, and for 82 days, drivers of the base of 6,800 trucks was established, and for 82 days, drivers of the raced at high speeds to keep Patton's tanks stocked with fuel. At any given moment, 900 vehicles were on the roads of France delivering fuel to the forward edge of the battle. By November, the Red Ball Express had delivered half a million tons of food, fuel, and ammo to 28 U.S. Army divisions. History has shown that the immense maritime capabilities of Transcom. During Desert Shield and Desert Storm, Military Sea Lift Command transported the majority of the ground equipment via sea lift, over three million tons of cargo and seven million tons of fuel. Back again in the Second World War, your predecessors flew military transport aircraft across the Himalayan mountains, or the hump, as it was called at the time, to resupply U.S. Army Air Forces in China. And having overseen the operation, then Lieutenant General William Tunner, he remarked after the hump, those of us who had developed an expertise in air transportation knew that we could fly anything, anywhere, anytime. And that remains true today with Transcom. Whether by land, sea, or air, Transcom always delivers anything, anywhere, anytime. No other military, no other military in the world possesses these capabilities. And as much as our allies and partners know this, our adversaries watch Transcom very, very carefully. Whether across the snow-capped Himalayas, through the lowlands of Europe, along any sea, ocean, or waterway, or out of the mountains of Afghanistan, America's joint force can rapidly project power to all corners of the globe because of the logistical talent and skill of the 116,000 soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, and importantly, civilians of the United States Transportation Command. And our future, our future strategic advantage as the world becomes ever more dangerous, our overmatch capability will continue to rely on the logistical prowess and the ability to project power by Transcom at great distances. And Steve, you have demonstrated incredible steady leadership during a very challenging time. Steve led this command over the last three years, marked by a pandemic, humanitarian crises, weather disasters, wildfires, day-to-day -day movement of supplies and equipment across the globe to those 11 combatant commands, and of course, combat operations, including the most recent evacuations in Afghanistan. Steve, your performance has been nothing short of exceptional.
and you're a hard act to follow. But there's not a single person out there who is more prepared to lead Transcom than Jackie Van Ovost. She has commanded an air refueling squadron, a flying training wing, and even elite presidential airlift wing. Her breadth and depth of experience is unparalleled. She served as the vice director of the Joint Staff and also the director of mobility forces for U.S. Central Command. And importantly, she just finished successful command at Air Mobility Command, the major subordinate command of Transcom, where she led an incredible team that includes 1,100 aircraft and 107,000 active duty guard and reserve airmen and civilians conducting global airlift, refueling, and air medical evac. Jackie, not only has your skill and talent, but I can tell you that we're incredibly proud and most importantly of your principles and your character. You are truly exceptional as well. The sky is the limit with Jackie Van Ovost. She will take Transcom into the future. She will take you to your next rendezvous with destiny, as we say in the Army. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce our Secretary of Defense, my boss, a man who I have fought with in combat on the ground, Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin.